Hello everybody, as some of you may know. Melina has abandoned me, kicking me out of my house, and changing the locks on me. I'm no longer able to go to the round table hold, but fuck em, who cares? I'll just find a new maiden. That's right. In this video, we will be getting the best maiden possible. Rani, our new wife-to-be. Before we start, please like and subscribe. I'll need all the help I can get if I want her to say yes. So, after killing Loretta's clone and talking to Rani, we need to talk to Blade down in Siofra. Blade is pretty useless in the brains department, so he asks us to talk to Siluvis, a creepy, likely pervert who lives in a tower near Rannis, likely so he can watch her from afar. From here on out, we will be calling him Tom. So, Tom here tells us to go talk to a wicked witch at the Waypoint Ruins in Limgrave, just east of Lake Agil. After becoming her student, she'll happily let you know what you need to know. So leave her in the underground chamber, because it's where she belongs, and go back to our pet dog and tell him the news. He'll say something along the lines of, Rani will give us Scooby snacks if we defeat Radan, Obviously, we can't pass up that deal. So make your way to Red Main Castle and start the festival. Our goal is to earn not one, but two Scooby Snacks. So make sure you kill him on your first try. He's very easy without Mikella on his shoulders. Just go up and tap him a few times. Lovingly, of course. And he'll warm up to you so much that he'll fall hard, head over heels for you. And he'll just allow you to kill him after that, watch the beautiful cutscene that you worked so hard for. Then talk to Blade. Ah, yes, I see. I'm perfect height. After your special time together with Blade, make your way down to Nokron and kick your twin's teeth in. Then cry, because he probably didn't deserve it. After weeping for an unhealthy amount of time, make your way through the Eternal City, dodging stray silver tears, the mimic tear's dysfunctional cousin and collect the Finger Slayer Blade. Don't forget to give the BFG his daily cardio, then teleport away on him, just so he knows we don't really care about him. Now, go back to Rani, then give her the knife. She'll be so ecstatic that she'll give us a statue. But where are Scooby Snacks? You may leave now. You may now leave. That's cute. She thinks we'll leave. I'll be sleeping in your walls, Rani. Or, maybe I'll just steal your clothes. And maybe, keep a doll of you on me at all times to talk to. And, other things. After indulging our unhealthy obsession, and talking to the doll, make your way to Noxtella, and run through all the giant ants, and electric-type Pokémon, to go down the elevator. After going down the elevator, just run straight through the cave, past the Lizards of Death, and meet up Blade, who is pissed he didn't get his Scooby Snacks. Don't worry, buddy, me too. Calmly tell him that we were lied to, he'll see reason and disappear without any more trouble. Go down the next elevator, and equip Flame Cleanse Me. Then run through Millennia's Sewage, and activate the various platforms along the way. Then make your way down the Grand Cloister, and past all of her disfigured children, then hop in the coffin. Because death is better than seeing those things walking around.
once at the bottom, cry in front of the Marika statue. Death didn't take us, unfortunately. With unbridled determination to make Rani our maiden, roll to your feet and wander into the boss room. A giant space lizard won't be able to stop us, though he certainly is trying. All you need to do is tap him in the face, preferably with your feet. It'll scare him off, and he'll leave you rewards. Now the obstacles are all gone. It's time to meet Rani. Oh, I see. I don't have the wedding ring. I can't propose to her like this. I'll have to steal it from Renala. It's not like she'll use it. Except, I didn't go through the academy. So on my journey to make Rani my maiden, I forgot to pick up the wedding ring, so I decided I should go to Raya Lucaria Academy to ask for her mother's consent. Because I'm a gentle man. So at Raya Lucaria, we need to make our way to Rani's mother. Along the way, we also need to get approval of their family dog, otherwise family barbecues will be weird. So enter the academy and turn right and disrespect the wall, and we'll see the graves of all the men that failed to get Renalus approval, but no worries. Well, surely succeed. Run through the graveyards. These are all the graves of those who failed to get the dog's approval. He seems to be a bit more strict. I wonder why. Anyway, make your way up the elevator. Go through the schoolhouse classroom and turn left. There will be a scroll on the ground. Hit the wall behind the scroll and go to your left. Follow the path and pick up the glintstone crown. Clearly, Rani decapitated a man. She's perfect. I just died on your arms tonight. Now go through the classroom again and turn right. Just run past all of these nerds and make your way up to Rani's dog. Now Rani's dog is, oh, hmm, I see, red dog of Radagon. It would appear Rani gave her dog to her father. I see why there were so many people that didn't get his approval now. But no matter, let's gently convince him that we'll treat Rani right. There we go. After gently caressing him for a bit, we'll gain the doggy's approval. Now for our future mother-in-law. Run out to the yard, then over to the stairs and past the giant ball. And, oh, it seems we need to gain the approval of her knight. Let's do it. This will be a cakewalk. What? What the hell was that? It would appear he doesn't like me too much, but no worries. Nothing a little chat can't handle. See? Easy. Now, time for Renala. Upon opening up the door, we get another look at Miyazaki's undisguised fetish. Well, let's gain her approval by doing her gimmick. Just attack the enemies with glowing aura. There's three of them, so it won't be too hard. And once you get all three, just treat her to a nice massage. After that, we'll get a lovely cut scene of Renala giving us her blessing. Upon my name is Rani the Witch. Mother's rich slumber shall not be disturbed by thee. Foul trespasser. Send word far and wide. Of the last queen of Caria, Renala of the full moon. And the majesty of the night she conjureth.
What, Rani? Why would you do this to me? After everything I've done, you would prey upon my downfall. No, I see. This must be a test. She wasn't satisfied with how I gained her mother's blessing, and she wants me to do it again. Very well then. This time, let's give her an extra thorough massage. Once that's done, she'll be so satisfied, she'll give us gifts. And when we talk to her, she'll give us their family heirloom ring. Absolutely wonderful, now we can make Rani our maiden. So go back to Blue Gate in Astel's boss room, and you'll notice it's gone. Naturally, progress through to the elevator. Go up the elevator, and at the top, go up the hill to the Manus Cathedral. Go down the hole in the cathedral floor and progress through the cave. Now that we have a maiden, we won't be lonely in our travels any longer. Wait a moment, where did she go? Ah, I see. Rani too abandoned us. Just like Melina, am I the one to blame? O oh moon, I pray to thee, bathe me in your sacred and ethereal light. O oh moon, save me from myself and alleviate the pain. <laughs> 